Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm in a brand new location. I'm in the capital of St. John's and uh, check out this massive, massive field. Like, oh my god, it's huge. Now, apparently this field, there's a lot of stuff in it. Like, uh, there have been other detectors that uh, detect down this field and found a bunch of different things. So basically it's the giving, the giving field, so I'm gonna hope I'll uh, have as much luck as the other fellas, the other detectors here in Newfoundland that tried this field. So, without further ado, I'm not too sure where to start yet. Anyway, that's the Confederation building. It's, it's foggy out today, so, yeah. I think this is the field. I did see a couple of uh, dug holes around here. Can't see any now, though. Yeah. Definitely gonna hit this place up and hope for the best. All right, guys, let you know if I find anything good. So guys, I just wanna show you the magnitude of the size of this field here. It is the biggest field I've been on so far. And I've been detecting here maybe around five or six months. And so far, no luck. Ooh, I got a stitch. Ooh, it's painful. Yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna continue on with my C scope trim XI and hope for the best. All right. I just got myself a relic, and it's the first relic of the day. I've been detecting deer now for a little while, and I never really got any good signals until I found this loop. Probably belongs to the horse. This gives you an idea how old this uh, field is. Well, I've seen videos of people digging up like old Newfoundland silver coins and large cents and stuff like that, so. But yeah, this is my first good signal and first good target off this massive field. All right, guys, see what else is around before I run out of time. Uh-oh. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm back at the field again. The one where I found the pocket watch on that new flam five cent piece. And uh, it's late evening. And uh, yeah, it's getting kind of dark, but I say I got maybe half hour before I gotta leave. <laughs> anyway, I just dug up a wheat penny. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty dirty. Pretty sure it does a wheat penny anyway. That's cool. Second hole. First hole, I think I dug up some lead. Second hole, wheat penny. Off to a great start, man. Maybe uh, there's some more silvers and older coins around here. Left to get yet. Alright, guys. See you at the next hole. Fooled again. Whoop. There we go. I fell this thing up the coin. Turns out it's a copper washer. <laughs> so I'm making my way down towards this tree line here. You see the just uh, down this little hill. I just dug up this uh, strange sinker by the looks of it. Well, maybe it's not all that strange. I think it was just a, like an anchor shaped kind of thing, but it's kind of the, on the left side there. It's bent in and. It's not no longer symmetrical. <laughs> Still pretty cool. I never found a uh, a sinker like this before. It's interesting. Cool. Let's find some more. Hey guys, another whole dog, and looks like it's a um, a buckle, shoe buckle, suspender buckle. I'm not sure. I'm not all that up on buckles, but it's a buckle indeed. Pretty cool. Another buckle to add to my growing buckle collection. Anyway, let's see if we can dig up some coins before it gets too dark. Well, I just dug up an iron heel. I 
I think this is my second iron heel on this field. <laughs> Find these everywhere. A lot of locations have these iron heels. Pretty cool though. A little bit of history. A historical relic. Alright, let's see if we can find some coins. <laughs>